Welcome back to another collector's resource video. Today I'm going to be talking about real versus fake Nintendo DS games. I'm going to show you some tips and identifiers to see how these games are different and what constitutes a real version and what giveaways are a fake version. So we'll compare the two, we'll compare the front, we'll compare the back, and I'll just give you the giveaways of what is a fake one and what is a real one. Buying online is pretty difficult because sometimes you don't have the reference or you know the pictures aren't that good but some of these tips will be helpful like if you ever get to go back to a convention. Taking a look at the front here you can see that these two have different colors. The one on the left is the real one and the one on the right is the fake one. So you'll notice the little model number on the front on the lower right hand corner NTR. A-D-M-E USA. You can see that the fonts are different. The middle section, A-D-M-E, will match the first four characters on the back of the cartridge. These characters are also found on the cover next to the barcode, and I'll show that to you a bit later. If you notice, the characters on the back of the fake cartridge start with A-2-D-E, which is not the same as the one on the front. It's really similar, it's a good fake, I believe A2DE belongs to New Super Mario Brothers, if I'm not mistaken. Now taking a look at the cover, you'll notice that NTRPADME USA. You'll notice that NTR is on the back of the cartridge, but then the printed on characters, ADME, that matches. Now if we put two real legit cartridges side by side, you can see how they're consistent. The fonts are the same, the Nintendo seal is the same, the logo is the same, the ESRB is the same, the Nintendo DS logo on the top is the same. Now if we take a look at the back, you'll see the fonts are the same for the Nintendo logo and NTR005 patent pending, those fonts are the same, and some other little indicators for a real cartridge. If you look at the pins right above it in the green, older cartridges when the DS first launched, they actually say Nintendo in the green area above the pins. You can see letters and characters and numbers. Fakes have these as well, so it's getting a little harder to note if it's a fake or not. Let's take a look at the top of the cartridge because this is the main indicator that will tell you if it's real or fake. There's a slight indentation, kind of a slim rectangular shape on the real cartridge. And if you look at the fake cartridge, which is on the right, it's a little more smooth. There's nothing there. It's like seamless. So look for this like slim rectangular fingernail thick indent on top of a DS cartridge. If it has that slit, chances are it's a real Nintendo DS cartridge. Now if you're collecting complete in box, there's some things you should look out for. It's very difficult to tell if it's fake artwork printed. That's something that you have to feel the paper for a cover art. Noticing where the symbols are located is important. The logos, the ESRB, the Wi-Fi symbols on the bottom left corner, but on later releases they changed it to the upper left hand corner. It's always helpful to ask what's inside the cover because yeah, you're going to want the manual, but it's also helpful to know if it comes with a Nintendo Power or Club Nintendo insert, as well as the health and safety. And if it's a Wi-Fi game, if it comes with the Wi-Fi manual. And then on later releases, Nintendo also started to insert advertisements for other games, but we can go over those in the future. So hopefully all of this information has helped you out. If there's anything I missed, let me know or add it in the comments. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more.